episode five of the off season, and we have our new assistant coach Adam Uze with us. Adam, thanks very much for your time. No worries. Good to be here. Does it feel nice to be back in the red and blue polo there? Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, it's obviously been a um, yeah a fair a fair while since I've been back to the footy club, but. Um, yeah, to obviously get it all sorted in the off season and um, the opportunity to work with um, with Goody and a, and, and a young coaching staff um, uh, is something I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, it's uh, familiar colours. Um, yeah, different different surroundings. I, I haven't haven't um, obviously didn't play when we were at Amy Park. I was down at Junction Oval, so I think the facility is a little bit better. But um, yeah, looking forward to getting started. Can't wait to. Um, sink my teeth into coaching a uh, really exciting group we know you do have the history with the club but was the list something that was really attractive to you and moving across to the to the days yeah it was um yeah I, I caught up with a few of the players yesterday um a few of the midfielders and uh yeah it's really enticing the fact that they're a young um up-and-coming group and and the upside is is huge in my opinion so um yeah all of that come in into my decision making and um, yeah, as I said before, um, I've got an, a, a really good relationship with Goody and I'm really looking forward to work, working alongside him. Have you spent some time with Goody prior to joining the club? Have you gotten to know him well? Yeah, well, we um, we roomed together in Ireland when we played in the International Rules. So um, we spent a, a couple of weeks together um, and had a bit of fun over there. So, yeah, that was obviously a, a fair while, uh, a fair time ago. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so and then uh, I was actually really close to moving across last year, so I had a little bit of time with him then. And um, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited, like I said before, to work with him and and the other young coaches that they've got at the footy club. You touched on that midfield group. There's some good young names: Petrarca, Viney, Oliver, Brayshaw. Do you see a really bright future for that group? Yeah, well, I think that's where really good obviously really strong teams are built from is a really strong midfield group. So we've got some individuals that are, are really talented. So uh, my role is to get that um, that cohesion within that group to be um, a really strong system. So rather than just having individual talent, we want to be a really strong midfield group. So um, yeah, I, I can see some real upside in um, helping them becoming uh, become a really strong um core part of our the reason why we can uh, push for final success so um yeah so the talent is one thing and then hopefully our the system and we start playing for each other and um and really buy into um what makes a really strong team um and i've been part of a, a footy club that uh, pushes that as a theme um so yeah and and uh, by all reports they're they're ready to go and i um, really looking forward to um, having a crack this year that success that you did have during your time with Hawthorne, is that something you feel like you can bring? Is it easy to sort of translate across? Uh, well, it's just the success part of it is the result of hard work. So, um, yeah, I was obviously lucky enough to be um, at a club in an era that they had some amazing success. But um, what I can bring is the knowledge of what it takes to get them there. So, um, yeah, so there's no, there's no secret to the fact that um, at Hawthorne Foot, they train hard and they've got high standards and um, and and a really good coaching system. So uh, the byproduct of that was success. So hopefully, I can um, peel the layers back and ex- and and really show and explain to the boys on on what it was or the reasons why um, Hawthorne became successful based on um, the training methods and standards that they they brought every week. So. Um, yeah, hopefully those learnings that I've um, obviously gained from working at a good, foot, a strong footy club like Hawthorne, um, yeah, I can bring that knowledge across for sure. Personally, you had a few different roles throughout your time there. Does that help with your experience, I guess? Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, I've, I've sort of blended. Um, so I've had the opportunity to work with the defence for a couple of years and um, with the forwards, I've had a role as a team strategy um, looking after both sides, offense and defense, and and I'm at the really exciting part is so I've actually never really worked with the mids, so this is going to be my first opportunity to work with the mids, um, and a really strong midfield group. So I'm as as I always have every year. I want to learn, so I like to travel and um, really grow my coaching. So uh, this is going to be a learning 
learning year for me as well. So I'm um, not walking in saying I know um, the ins and outs and the, um, I've got this secret method on how to play um, strong midfield um, footy. So, um, yeah, I'll be leaning on some of the other coaches that are obviously at the footy club and, and obviously Goody, um, Goody's played a lot of a lot of footy through the midfield. So he'll have a fair say in the way that we want to play anyway. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about working with a group that I haven't had the opportunity to do before. Now, we have to talk a little bit about the playing career because that's what fans want to hear. They want to reminisce. The days where you were kicking goals from the boundary and the ooze chant was flying around the MCG, is that something you look back on fondly? Yeah, obviously when, um, yeah, yeah, really proud of what I, what I uh, produced as a player. Um, and I'll obviously let the players know that <laughs> I might show some vision at training. Um, but yeah, we had a laugh. At that. We had a laugh about that sort of stuff um, yesterday when we caught up with a few of the players, and um, I was really excited to see uh, young Langdon running around with his um, long sleeve jumper rolled up. It felt like it brought back memories of me playing on a wing. But um, yeah, look, honestly, it's that I played obviously a long time ago. So um, yeah, being able to walk into the footy club that I had so many good memories um, playing for. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Things have changed a lot since you first joined the system in 1995. As you said before, it was Junction Oval back then. How different are the standards from then to 2020? Uh, yeah, well, standards, I think, uh, depending on what your uh, your leadership group push. So um, I think the standards at most footy clubs um, from even when I played were really high. So the minute you walked out on the footy, on the training track you expect it to train really hard and push yourself and try to get the best out of yourself so those core values haven't changed from 30 years ago so um, obviously the systems and the way that we play and um, the access of, to coaches and 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 technologies obviously gone through the roof so but in saying that this year we obviously got less staff and and we're peeling back a little bit so um, going back to what we used to do with utilizing less coaches with um, having more input in different areas um, is something that we've got to get a little bit creative with. So, um, yeah, but the standards haven't changed. Like Gary Lyon and Todd Viney used to push really high standards when when I first rocked up to the footy club. So um, I would hope that when our young players that we draft this year walk in and, and understand that Maxie and the boys push really high standards. So, um, yeah, and we'll obviously help our leaders with that. There were a few big names that you played alongside in your career. Are there any players that stand out as people that you just love to play with or, um, yeah, you look back and remember running out on the G alongside? Yeah, well, um, Jack Viney, was, we caught up yesterday and a, a fair few times I spoke about his dad. So, Toddy, like I said before, Gary and Todd, Todd Viney were, were massive influences on me when I first started. Um, I had no idea of how to push myself and train at a high standard until I started um, training and playing alongside those guys. And they were really, not intimidating, but they expected a lot from every player that walked through those doors. So, um, and then obviously I had the opportunity to play some, um, a lot of footy with David Neitz and um, Cameron Bruce, uh, Ross Robertson, so we, and Jeff Armour. Like we had a, an amazing group under Neil Danaher, so, um, which I cherish. And we, and we obviously keep really um, in close contact um, every day. Um, so, um, yeah, so like I said, back there, back early days, the massive influences were the leaders of, um, of Gary and, and Todd when I first walked through the doors. That early 2000s period, we were playing finals, you won a BNF, all Australian. Are they some of the best memories of your footy career? Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, the, obviously playing, being a leader at a footy club, you just want to win finals and obviously win the, win the ultimate. So... Um, I thought under Neil, we had a, um, a really strong, um, we were up and down a little bit, but we played a lot of finals footy and we, we, we played a really exciting brand of footy. So, um, and we, every, um, whether it was every second year or, um, the fact that every time we got in the final series, we looked like we had a chance of winning it. So, um, I actually have always taken that. Um, through my coaching journey, the fact that you want to get out there and play a really exciting brand that, you, um, that your supporters love going and watch. So Neil really pushed the fact that he wanted to be attacking and, um, and I thought we did that. So, um, yeah, those, those finals wins and obviously we, we didn't win the ultimate, but we got really close and um, we kept showing up and 
um, giving ourselves a chance. Well, hopefully we see some similar success in the coming years. Adam, thanks very much for your time. Looking forward to catching up when we're back at the club. No worries. Can't wait to get started.